Before we look at the next example, I just want to discuss with you this particular multiplication, which we also refer to as the factorial multiplication or factorial notation. For example, if I take 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, in the previous example, you will remember, we were faced with a problem of 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And as this is going to get bigger and bigger and more numbers, of course, this becomes more complicated and time-consuming. But what does this mean? The moment that I have any number, multiply with one less, one less, one less, one less, right down to one, this is then called four factorial. Four factorial. The reason for the four, because it starts at four and goes down to one. Always it decreases by one unit or one number. Now, whenever you get that situation of 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or just, or another one, 3 times 2 times 1 will therefore give you 3 factorial. If, if it's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, we will get 5 factorial. Now, this notation makes it much easier for us to work with, in particular when we are dealing with very large numbers. Things like 20 factorial. You can imagine those kind of numbers that you need to multiply 20 times 19 times 18 times 70. Now, once we, we can put this in factorial notation, then we just work with 4 factorial. You will now see on your calculator, the Casio calculators as well as the Sharp calculators, have a button, that factorial button you will find on your calculator. And all that you will do is you will push 4, you will push the factorial button, and it will give you the answer. And you can double check because this is quite easy, easy to work out mentally because 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, times 1 stays the same, and you can check and see if you get the correct answer with these easy ones by using your calculator. The same with 3 times 2 times 1. You will agree with me that answer is 6. You can check on your calculator. 3 factorial is equal to 6. Now, just to finish this off, some little things that you must keep in mind. It's not so important for our grade 12 syllabus, for, but for those of you who are going to carry on with maths at mathematics at the tertiary level, you may need the following as well. Please take... Uh, take it in consideration that 2 times 1 is 2 factorial, which is 2. And if I may turn it around, 1 factorial is equal to 1. And that is still, like 2 factorial is 2 times 1. 1 factorial is basically 1, because we can say 1 times 1, but it doesn't really make a difference. 1 factorial is 1. And then the one that caused many problems what is 0 factorial? And that, please believe me, for, at, for this time in your life, that 0 factorial is equal to 1. And many people want to say, but it is 0. And it's not 0. Per definition, 0 factorial is 1. We're not going to discuss why this is the case. It's not really necessary for our grade 12 syllabus. But just keep it in mind for future use. Now, this factorial notation makes it much easier when you calculate now problems where the numbers, where there are quite a lot of numbers and it becomes quite difficult and time consuming. So let's now look at our Parktown problem again and let's see what we're going to do in that particular problem. 